Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today I'm hanging out with Max, and we're talking about our top three things from NAB. I'm here with Max. I'm sure most of you already subscribed to his channel. Definitely check out the link on the screen and in the description. Um, he's going to be doing and already has done a lot on the GH5. So if you want to really dive into getting that thing all set up for video, um, he's your man. You've done a lot with autofocus. Too much. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, we have other good stuff coming on the GH5. Yes. We're, we're putting that in the past. There's a lot of stuff to check out if you're interested, but. We're gonna move forward to the, yeah. the good things. Yeah, yeah, and he's and he's always like first with the cameras. If you're really into the bleeding edge, I you know, I wake up I'm like, oh, there's a new camera. Oh, there's Max <laughs> holding the new camera. So We're awesome trying. channel, lots of good stuff. So Thanks, in this man. video, we are gonna talk about our top three picks from the show based on our interests. And uh, why don't you go ahead and start with your number one. Yeah, my number one is the small HD focus. Now, when I saw that, uh, somebody posted it from an AB, I was, like shocked and very excited and very happy as I, I really like the a6500 a6300 the size of it the image that comes out of it the worst thing is that rear lcd screen mm. it's super reflective and you go into that 4k or 120 uh, fps 1080p mode it dims to like half or lower than half brightness it's impossible to see outside so to have that you know 500 dollar monitor from um from those guys that's like the cheapest thing they've ever put out but 800 nits, so you can see it outside. It can actually power the camera at the same time as the monitor itself um, and get about two and a half hours of battery life is what they're kind of quoting. And mm. you can actually, it comes with a little stand, so a little mount, so you can swivel it. So uh, when Vadim's shooting me, he can flip it around. I could see the framing and stuff like that. So th I'm gonna use that a ton. Yeah. So that's the, the main thing that I know I'm gonna get. So. Right on. No, I think that's brilliant, the whole battery. It's already on there. Mm -hmm. Might as well give us an output for the yeah. camera. Um, my number one is going to be a motion control system from iFootage. All of you veteran DSLR video shooters out there will remember I did a review of that, uh, their slider a long time ago. It's a rod belt system slider. Well, they have a new system and a new motion control for it. All for the, the basic kit is coming out for uh, around 1200, 1100 bucks. What's awesome about this is, first of all, the track system. Um, instead of having rods and belts, it is a single track system, uh, a foot long, and you can clamp them and clip them together. Zero seam. I looked as close as I could, and you should check it out. You can barely see the seam. Smooth. Yeah, and it's it, it has teeth on it. And then the motion control head, which is the size of just a normal tripod head, so we're talking tiny setup, just rides on that track. Um, so it's really minimal. It looks like a very minimal uh, slider. It's no bigger than, but with you know, motion. yeah, but it has full, you know, re repeatable time lapse, um, manual, and it all is controlled with your phone. It has like a little Xbox controller dealio, or you can set up, you know, keyframes and the whole thing. So I'm really excited about that. The cost for around a grand, you get um, the track system, the head, a bag and uh, you're up and running. So I think that's gonna be really exciting. So nice. That's my number one. Your number two. The two, so I really like the Aperture gear um, because they just listen to the customers mm -hmm. and they keep improving stuff and at offering at a great price point. So they had something last year that they're finally putting out this year and it's the, the little 20D light and they have a bicolor version as well. So it's a little Fresnel light. We can adjust the beam angle, the brightness, the color temperature, uh, you can cut it and you can power it with any, literally almost anything. So like a cheap battery bank for 20 bucks off of Amazon, stick that in, power it, um, really small, really lightweight. And so for wedding use, that's going to be great. And even studio use for like an edge light um, or a lot of times product shots. I uh, have a, you know, a little light to be able to spot it on there to cut it and do some cool shots like that. So um, I know I'm going to get at least one or two or three of those and uh, actually use it day to day. Yeah, yeah, that's super slick. Um, my number two is going to be um, triad stands. So they're uh, central hall, and what's cool about these is, is think about a, a mic, music mic stand. Really short legs at the bottom, mm -hmm. long boom arm. Well, they essentially have made those at um, C-stand level security, essentially. They're really tough but they work just like those and they're scary because you, you pick them up and they're super heavy, 
each stand packs down to 14, really? 13, 14 inches, but they're as heavy as a C stand. The so I mean, beauty, it's not going to be falling over or anything else. Right. The but. beauty is it packs down to nothing. Have you ever traveled with like 18 C stands? It's just, it's even, ter- even two is like I have three like of them and it's a pain. A lot of times I leave it. So. Yeah, they're terrible. So these are really small, packed down almost nothing. The legs are short and in their booth, they have like a 50 inch TV on one. And as you walk by, you're like, I don't know who these guys are, but this is not <laughs> safe. But you can grab the stand with the with something on it, pull it like 40 degrees, let go, and it goes back. It's wow. crazy good. And the legs, you can have a, a, a stand going like this and locked in that position. They have tons of little gizmos, and the way they all attach together is incredible. So someday I'd like to move completely to that. Really good stuff. So that's triad, and um, you could do almost anything with them. So. Number I want to go check it out. Yeah, Both of those things. So yeah. I haven't seen it. They're really, really, really good. So number three. Uh, my three. So I got to look here because I actually haven't found them yet. Mm. Um, I've been meaning to. So uh, like Caleb said, we did a live session and we had, uh, stuff didn't work out. We had to shoot it from the phone. Yeah. Now, so this is called Sling Studio for a thousand bucks. And it allows you to connect multiple cameras to it or even like cell phones and have good range battery powered it'll go straight to either facebook live or youtube live you, and you can have an operator that's changing angles doing all that for a thousand bucks and it outputs uh 1080 60. so there's a black magic solution that i was looking into for 500 bucks closer to 600 with a little add-on but that only does 720p and you have to have it plugged into the wall so it's really limited and that was still appealing but now seeing this thing for a thousand bucks um and we want to do more live stuff so I definitely got to go check that out. I'm excited for that. And that's something I want to actually use day to day. Yeah, I can't wait to see your report on that because that sounds sounds awesome. Uh, my number three is lightning. And that is a light that's coming out from IntelliTech. Um, it is essentially, you know, think of Westcott Flex Lights. Mm-hmm. It's four of those kind of style lights all in one giant mat. But the beauty with this is instead of rolling it up or laying it flat, um, it folds up down to one one by one size. So something this big opens up to something this big, which is awesome. It's really, really, really bright. It's bicolor, which at first I was like, ah, we're gonna lose output on one end or the other, but it is a 28 to 8,000 Kelvin. So 56 is kind of in the middle. And even if you go down to 3,200 or all the way up to 8,000, um, even though you're only using half the LEDs, uh, the, the guys who developed this are pushing more wattage toward those LEDs. So as you go through the range, there's almost no difference. Mm-hmm. And it's it's crazy, crazy bright. So they have some great softbox. I just love the idea of something the size of a little coffee table book can open up to this massive, Yeah, massive if I had that, light. I would have brought it here yeah, and yeah, used yeah. it when I was shooting earlier today. So all you corporate guys out there, like, I'm going to try to get one of those and do some videos on it. But, um, yeah. Nice. Sweet. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah, no me. Problem. And also, special thanks to Max for providing all the gear for this. Uh, we kind Your of, mic. like, last minute, we were <laughs> like, hey, let's just do this. So um, he's rocking his GH5 and his Tazcam recorder, which I really need to check out, one of those little guys. Um more importantly, check out Max's channel. He's got tons of great videos. If you're into the GH5 and want to really fine tune that whole autofocus thing and stay up to date on that, Max is your man also with cameras and he's got just a ton of other videos. So Thanks, really man. appreciate it. I'm that was, so a, really glad good, we're able that was a really good plug. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Check Thanks, out his guys. channel. Uh, in the description and hopefully we can do more of these in the future definitely so thanks for watching guys we will see you in our respective next videos